A reading from the Gospel of Luke, again, chapter 1. You think it's probably, you think it'd be the whole Gospel the way it is, these, this chapter 1. Zechariah, his father, filled with the Holy Spirit, prophesied, saying, Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born in the house of his servant, David, to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our Father, remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hand of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. This is called the Zechariah's Canticle. In the priest, we have what we call our breviary, which now you can find on the phone, and anyone can say it. You can get it for free. It's called I Breviary. You have the app, by the way. And the morning prayer begins, uh, part of the morning prayer is what I just, well, I didn't read the whole, but it's there, Zechariah's Canticle. Hmm? And whether we know about Zechariah, we said, remember, his tongue was free, and he praised God, and he's filled with the Holy Spirit, and he blesses God. And so Chris is getting close. I don't know if there's any certain gifts you're looking forward to, you think you need or like to have, but how about praying for an outpouring of the Holy Spirit? Lord, I need your Holy Spirit in my life. I need your guidance. I need your direction. I need to make wise decisions. I need the gift of peace. All that what the Holy Spirit brings. So let's be like Zechariah. Just praise God and be filled with the Holy Spirit. God knows the world needs it. God bless you.